What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Nate from Shepherd Basketball. Make sure you guys hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Welcome to my podcast. This is episode four. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about you know, the games uh, that were played earlier today on Sunday. I'm going to rant 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 about the lakers and i'm going to talk about some college basketball okay so let's start off with the games that were played earlier today <coughs> excuse me guys i am getting over this cold it's horrible cold i got a nasty cough so i apologize for that okay let's get into it the hawks lost against the new jersey nets that was a high-scoring game. Wow, 144 to 127. The leading scorer was D'Angelo Russell with 32 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists. Dwayne Dedman had 24 points, 12 rebounds, and 3 assists. 76ers beat the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. 128 to 105. Ben Simmons had a triple-double. <laughs> He's good. I mean, I, I like his game. He's a throwback player, old-school player. He had 22 points, 11 rebounds, 14 assists. Matthew. Matthew Deladova came off the bench and had 13 points. Jordan Clarkson added in with 18 points. Wow. Cleveland only won seven games this season. Yikes. I don't really think they're going to make the playoffs. <laughs> Not anytime soon. Okay, so the Indiana Pacers, they beat the New York Knicks 110 to 99. Victor Oladipo had 26 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists. Ennis Cantor had 20 points, 15 rebounds. I think OKC gave up on Victor Oladipo. Just me personally. I just think he. It's a better fit. I mean, they get rid of him, then they end up getting Schroeder. Hmm, go figure. Sometimes these teams need to be a little bit more patient with the players that they have. The Lakers lost. Oh, my goodness, they lost. Oh, piss me off. The Wizards, they lost to the Wizards. Okay, that score is 128 to 110. Catavis Caldwell Pope, 25.6 rebounds, 5 assists. Mr. John Wall. Mr. John Wall had 40 points, 6 rebounds, and 14 assists. Kings beat the Mavericks, 120-113. Garrett Fox had 28 points, 3, three rebounds, 5 assists. Luka Doncic, the uh, rookie for uh, Mavericks, the guy from Europe. Pretty good player. I like his game. 28 points, 6 rebounds, 9 assists. They make him unguardable in any. Uh, NBA 2K19, very unguardable. Miami Heat beat the Pelicans. What's up with the Pelicans? The Pelicans lost to Miami Heat, 102 to 96. Hassan Whiteside leading scorer. Well, I don't know if he's a leading scorer, but he. Let's see if he's a leading scorer. No, he wasn't the leading scorer. Wait, Richardson, 22 points. Whiteside at 17 points. <coughs> But Whiteside had 12 rebounds. Davis and uh, Davis, Anthony Davis had almost called him Antonio Davis. I don't know if you guys remember Antonio Davis from the Pacers. I'm showing my age there. Anthony Davis had 27 points, 12 rebounds. Julius Randle had 17 points and 10 rebounds. Look like the Lakers probably should have kept Julius Randle. Probably should have got rid of Ingram. I don't know. I like Randall's game over Ingram. All right. Raptors lost 23 to 9. That's the record in the 12 and 5 away. The number one team in the East, they lost to the Nuggets 95 86. Wyland had 29 points, 14 rebounds. Nikola Jokic had 26 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists. Now let's go 
over to college basketball. Now, when I talk about college basketball, unless I'm talking about players, when it's the teams, I only cover the top 25 teams. I only cover the top 25 teams. That may sound messed up, but, you know, I, I put the teams that are that I think or will assume that will go to the NCAAs and a lot of those teams have top players that typically will go pro for the mo for the most part. Now there is some diamond rough like uh, Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, and CJ McCullough. Yeah, I know that. That's why I I have a segment to where I hype up players from smaller schools and different schools. But when I hype up teams and talk about teams, I will only discuss the top 25, okay? So today's game, Sunday, <clears throat> uh, Michigan State beat Green Bay 104-83. to uh, Nick Ward for Michigan State had 28 points, 9 rebounds. Pretty good player. And Houston's ranked 24. Sorry, Michigan State's ranked number 9. Houston's ranked uh uh, 24. Houston is 10 and 0 at 8 and 0 at home. They beat St. Louis. Corey Davis Jr. had 17.6 rebounds and two assists. Now, yesterday games, some good games on. Kansas beat Villanova 74 to 1. Kansas is 9 and 0. Deja Glosson was their leading scorer with 28 points, 12 rebounds. Phil Booth. For Villanova had 29 points, two rebounds, two assists. Deja Lawson is a good player. He's a little slow. He's a transfer from Memphis. This guy can shoot the ball. This guy can shoot. People are sleeping on Kansas. Don't sleep on Kansas. Not to mention Hold on. LeGerald Vick. LeGerald Vick is a player. LeGerald Vick at 29 points. This guy, he's really good, explosive. He needs to probably get stronger, but he's an explosive player. Candle the ball, and he can shoot the ball. Villanova's ranked number 17. They're six and, no, well, excuse me, they're eight and four. And Kansas is nine and oh. Tennessee is ranked number three. They're eight and one. They beat Memphis 102 to 92. Showfield from Tennessee. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Had 29 points, 11 rebounds. It's not bad. Pretty good. And Kayvon Devonport had 31 points, 11 rebounds. Gonzaga lost to North Carolina. Which is not a surprise. It's not a surprise. Uh, 103 to 90 was a high scoring game. Luke May, who's, I mean, Luke May is a poor man's uh, Kevin Love. He 20 points, 16 rebounds. Josh Perkins had 20 points for Gonzaga and five rebounds and eight assists. Josh Perkins is a good point guard. He's solid and he's strong. Michigan, which is, I'm surprised that Michigan is ranked. Uh, this high. Michigan is 11 and 0, 7 and 0 at home. They beat Western Michigan 70 to 62. Charles Matthew had 20, Matthews had 25 points, 10 rebounds. Nevada. People do not sleep on Nevada. They got the Martin Twins. Okay, I told you. I mentioned them, uh, the Martin Twins, in my segment uh, about you know top players to uh, look out for. Nevada is ranked number seven. They beat South Dakota State, 72 to 68. Caleb Martin had 20 points, four rebounds. Auburn's ranked number eight. I like Ar Auburn. They were actually solid last year. They beat UAB, 75 to 71. Uh, Jared Harper had 31 points, four rebounds, three assists. Texas Tech is ranked number 11. They're 10 and 0. Jared Culver, who's a good player. He's a really good player. He quietly goes out there and just uh, performs well. He had 30.7 rebounds, four assists. Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech is a really good team. Um, they're 9-1. and one. 
They ha um, and they beat Washington. Now, those guys from Washington, Virginia Tech, tomorrow, there's some players that I'm going to talk about on both of those teams who are really good. You want to keep your eyes out on them. On Shepard's radar. Okay, uh, Virginia Tech's ranked number 13. They're 9-1. and one. Uh, Mikhail Alexander had 24 points, 3 runs, and 3 assists. Buffalo. Buffalo is actually ranked number 14, 10 and 0. Nick Perkins had 20 points, 11 rebounds. Now, Buffalo beat SIU. And SIU is not bad, 7 to 5. Ohio State. Ohio State is ranked number 15. They beat Bucknell. They're 9 and 1. Caleb Weston had 22 points, 10 rebounds. Mississippi State is ranked number 18. They beat Cincinnati. I'm surprised Cincinnati is not ranked. But Cumberland, Cumberland is a good player. I like his game. You see, a lot of these guys that I'm mentioning, guys, good players, but they just don't get mentioned. They just don't get mentioned. It's not fair. You know, ESPN focuses on the top five teams. They don't even mention the top 25 teams like I'm doing. I mean, you won't hear of this on ESPN, only on this platform, where you're going to, I'm going to talk about just about a lot of teams. A lot of teams. If a player is good, I don't care what school he goes to, I will uh, talk about them and highlight them. Lamar Peters had 14 points, two, round, two rebounds, not assists. Uh, Kentucky, who's ranked number 19, not a surprise. They beat Utah. Kentucky's 8-2, 8-0 at home. They beat Utah 88-61. Keldon Johnson from Kentucky had 24 points, two rounds, one steal. Arizona State beat Georgia. Arizona State is ranked number 20. They're 8-1. 76 to 74. Remy Martin, who's pretty good. Uh, 21 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists. Iowa is ranked number 22, which I'm surprised. Iowa beat Northern Iowa, Iowa 77 to 54. Tyler Cook, 17 points, 13 rebounds. I seen him play. He was he was impressive. I need to see, I need to watch more of him. Furman, who's I, I'm surprised they're ranked number 23. But actually, I looked up Furman's stats. They actually got some guys who can who can score 12 and 0, 7 and 0. At home, they beat UNC Wilmington. Clay Miles for Furman. Furman, sorry, not Furman. Furman had 26 points, 10, 10 rebounds, five assists. Syracuse is ranked 25. Shocker. <laughs> I'm shocked. They beat, no, they lost. They lost to Old Dominion. Uh-oh. Tyus Battle had 23 points. For Syracuse. Kansas State. Well, I got three teams ranked 25. Kansas State, 72. Byron Brown Jr. had 21 points. Indiana, they had them ranked 25 as well. They beat, sorry guys, Kansas State beat Georgia State. 79-59. Indiana beat Butler, 71-68. Jawan Morgan had 35 points. Wow. Three, three rebounds and one assist. So that is enough. With now, I'm not going to go on and on about the Lakers too much, but the Lakers lost to the Wizards. Got blown out by the Wizards. It was a game that they should have won. I'm not, but no way I'm not towards the Washington Wizards. The Washington Wizards actually are a good team. They're just not a serious team. It seemed like the Lakers stayed out, stayed out all night partying and didn't take the game serious. They're very lackadaisical, kind of going through the motions. And, you know, Michael Beasley has been out because I know his mom, something with his family, family issues, or his mom. Maybe they need to play him. Maybe they need to mix the lineups or more. Michael Beasley can shoot. Uh, Lakers are 18 to 12, so they're number four in the West. It's already 30 games into the season, so two more, so 12 more games, and the season's halfway there. 
Lakers can't lose to teams like this. I mean, the Lakers should be beating the Rockets, and they should be beating the Wizards. The Lakers are a better team than that. They need to play more consistent. They need to come and bring it every game and not be inconsistent. Because games like this, today, earlier, is going to come back to hurt the haunt, the, and haunt and hurt the Lakers. So I'm very disappointed with how they play. Very disappointed how they play. Um... They probably need to run more offense for Kuzman, like I said, and play Beasley. But I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, um, one minute they look like a championship team, the one minute they look like a team that just, oh my goodness. Now Kyle Kuzman's averaging 16 points. He needs to be consistent. LeBron James averaged 27. Brandon Ingles, 11. I'm sorry. I'm reading the stats wrong. My bad, guys. I'm, I was reading the... I was... My mouth. LeBron, <laughs> LeBron James is averaging 28 points. And Kyle Kuzman is averaging 18 points per game. My bad, guys. And Brandon Ingram's averaging 15 points. So that right there tells you Kyle Kuzman can step it up and be that 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 second score, which he is, but he needs to be he needs to be averaging more than 18 points a game. And they need to run more offense for him. And Beasley, I'm looking at his stats right now. I mean, Beasley can shoot, so maybe play him more than Josh Hart. I know that sounds crazy, but Beasley adds size, and they got enough point guards so they can play Beasley more. Then... That guy, I don't know how to say his last name. I'm not going to even try to. Um, I know he played at Kansas. Svataslava Metcal. If you guys know how to say his last name, put it in my comment section. But they're trying to use him in spot minutes. But they can go with Beasley. So, I don't know. Take a drink here. It sucks because it's hard for me to talk right now because I have this cough. Coughing all in the mic. <laughs> so the next game is they're playing the Brooklyn Nets. Like I said, these, these wins, because it's not a tough schedule. They're not playing tough teams. The Wizards, the uh, the Nets, these are not good teams. Let me see. Let's look at... Okay, so the last game was Wizards. And... So... Okay, they beat Charlotte... They lost to Houston. So the team, so they lost to Houston. They lost to Washington. So they played three teams in a row that are not going to make the playoffs. Yeah, the Nets. The Nets are actually better. The Nets are actually better than the Wizards. These are games that the Lakers should be winning. These three teams that they played, they're not going to even make the playoffs. If we're going off right now. If we're going off right now. They have a less than 500 record. What's the Lakers doing losing to these teams? 
I mean, come on. This is not a hard schedule. This is not a hard schedule. Oh, Sacramento's ranked number seven in the West. Wow. Passing of the guard. So that's it, guys. I think I've made my point. Thank you guys for tuning in.